Today is the day many in Louisiana and surrounding states have been waiting for. President Donald Trump will be in Monroe later today, leading a rally for Republican gubernatorial candidate Eddie Rusponi. That's right. And Fox 14's Gabrielle Pfeiffer now joins us live at the Monroe Civic Center. Hey, Gabrielle, what's going on there? Hey, good morning, Anna and Bodie. Right now, I'm here with some students, actually. And tell me your name. Olivia. Caleb. Lilia. Morgan. All right. So we have one college student and then we have three high school students. So are you here by yourself or are you here with your parents? Uh, we both came together, but we met up with her and her dad. Have you guys ever been to a concert? I have. I have. Which do you prefer, a concert or a Trump rally? I take the rally any day. Do you think it's worth it? How long have you guys been out here? We got here at about 6.30 and so yeah, I think it's completely worth it. What are you expecting for today? I really don't know what to expect, but I am really excited about what you are. You yeah. excited too? Oh, I'm so pumped. Right. <laughs> Just like these guys, a lot of people out here are excited. One important note to make is that if you come out here, you need to bring the clear bags where you can put your keys and your wallets in. They will be checking for that. Bring your ID as well as your ticket. Um, we're live here in front of the Monroe Civic Center. People are still being entertained. Um, in the background, so we will be joining you again later on in the show. I'm Gabrielle Pfeiffer reporting live, Fox 14 News. Gabrielle, thank you. As the president makes his way here today, the only sitting president to come in Monroe in nearly 40 years. That's right. Traffic concerns have been mounting, and Monroe officials haven't said much, but there were plenty of people camping out for this historic event last night, telling Fox 14's Chelsea Jones they wouldn't miss this for the world. They've waited, and finally... I made it, everybody! I'm here! The President of the United States will be in the Twin Cities for the first time during his presidency. Carl Caffey and his wife traveled all the way from Lafayette, Louisiana, and they say voting for Trump was a huge risk. We would have voted for Mickey Mouse before we would have voted for Hillary. So when we voted for Trump, he was never in the White House, and we knew we were taking a big... A big shot at this. And that's why they say they're voting for a Republican candidate for governor, Eddie Rusponi, because of his lack of political experience. We got Edwards, he's more of a politician. We're going to go with the businessman. John Bell Edwards may have done a few good things, uh, but I do believe that, uh, that Rusponi is going to be a better job creator. The president is expected to fly in on Air Force One around 6 p.m. Wednesday and host a rally at 7 at the Monroe Civic Center. All week long, Monroe officials have warned of road closures and unique traffic patterns, but they haven't said exactly which routes will be closed. Uh, the mayor has really discouraged people from coming to camp out. However, people love President Trump, and so they, they come out anyway. The earlier, the better. The earlier, do not wait until the last moment. These folks have done anything but. They're Camping out to ensure they're the first in line to support the president who they believe has done wonders for the country. And when he couldn't get Congress to cooperate with him, he was smart enough to go around the table and get it done. Local resident Jay Huckabee says this is the one thing that may be enough to unseat incumbent governor John Bell Edwards. I do believe that Trump support alone will push Responding over the over the finish line. For your local election headquarters in Monroe, I'm Chelsea Jones. Well, meanwhile, the president's visit will close three of Louisiana Delta Community College's campuses. The Monroe, West Monroe, and Ruston campuses will close today at 3.30 p.m. It's because of the anticipated traffic and potential road closures caused by the president's visit. All three campuses will reopen tomorrow at 8 a.m. All other campuses will keep their regular hours. Now, class will also wrap up early at the University of Louisiana Monroe. Class will dismiss at 2 p.m. today due to expected road closures and heavy traffic associated with the arrival of the president. The 2 p.m. dismissal is for students and faculty only. Staff will remain until 4 p.m. The library, dining halls, and activity center will be open regularly scheduled hours. Planning, planned events will take place as scheduled. Police are still working to track down the gunman behind a shooting that left a Ruston man dead over the weekend. Fox 14's Hunter Elise has been asking questions and has more. On the morning of November 2nd, around 2.20, Ruston police got a call about a shooting on the 800 block of McAllister Street. I'm crying from my heart, y'all. <laughs> I need justice for my grandson. 
and every witness and whoever knows anything about it, please come for us. Police say 22-year-old Lawrence D. Williams IV had been fatally shot. I received a call by 2 o'clock that morning saying that there was a murder had happened at my shop. I jumped and ran and came up here. The shop owner says when she got to her store, she found Williams lying on the ground curled up in a ball. Officials have not said where Williams was shot or how many times, but the coroner pronounced him dead at the scene. I could see where the front of his forehead blood had, you know, dripped down his face and seemed as if he was gazed, grazed on the side of his face. Now, Williams' family wants to know who pulled the trigger and why. He didn't deserve this. He's a good kid. He didn't mess with nobody. He was always by himself. And whoever that did this know that he was coming to this shop to get his food. So please. In Rustin, Hunter Elise, Fox 14 News. Continuing our crime coverage, police have released the name of a Monroe man found dead in Bayou Desired. Officials identified the victim as Justin Dillmore. His body was found in the 7,000 block of Desired Road Tuesday morning. Washed up Harris sheriffs are working to find out what happened leading up to his death. His remains have been sent off for, uh, now autops, for an autopsy. Rather, No further details are available at this time. And the Monroe Chamber of Commerce is officially in its new home. The chamber relocated about a month and a half ago to an office space located in the 1800 block of Auburn Avenue off North 18th Street. After 20 years in the Milner Motor Building on Walnut Street, they moved to have a more functional space located in the heart of the Monroe Business District. Staff telling us the office will help the group work together as a team. Coming up on Fox 14, more high-profile members of the Trump administration being asked to testify as part of the ongoing impeachment inquiry. That's right. We hear from both Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill right after this break. But first, here's Lexi with your commute cast.